While everyone freaked out over the release of the Pokemon Go game on mobile, you may have missed the earthquake tests on the world's largest outdoor shake table, and robots trying to understand how pedestrians dodge and weave. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where scientists might be training robots to track humans in some parts of the world. But the rest of us know this Boston Dynamics trick to disarm them, so we're not worried. Yet. So we're envisioning a, a new generation of robots which uh, can work, uh, can operate alongside humans. Stanford engineering researchers have dressed a little robot in a friendly looking hat and tie and are using it to study how pedestrians move among other humans in a crowded space. This guy, for some reason dubbed the Jack Rabot, is a social robot that takes video and photos while gathering data to help scientists create algorithms of how people move. This is interesting because had that information been available during Rick on Stark's time, maybe he'd have actually run the right way. Spoilers. <gasps> Go bots! This is not the Shake Shack most folks think of. Researchers at the University of California, San Diego are using a massive earthquake simulator to help test a lightweight steel frame building design that will hopefully remain standing during the real thing. The six-story structure has 250 sensors and nearly four dozen cameras to monitor shaking and fire experiments. They are also tracking the movement of the appliances inside because that's usually where fires come from. Scientists already shook the building at magnitude 6.7, which was the strength of the 1994 Northridge quake, then tested its ability to withstand fire. Eventually, researchers plan to ramp the rumblings beyond the building's structural limits, which will look something like this. We need better infrastructures. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Facebook Live was used to broadcast the immediate aftermath of a black man shooting by a police officer. Instagram adds tools so that businesses can block swear words. Comcast announced plans to carry Netflix as a regular cable channel. German churches added free Wi-Fi God's bots to try to lure younger attendees. And goats have been studied and found to be actually very similar to dogs in intelligence. So they knocked petting zoo kids over on purpose. Just what we've always thought. <laughs> <laughs>